Hello YouTube. Well, today's project uh, was repairing a Dyson DC. Let's see. This is a SV12, an SV12 vacuum. As you can see, I'm going to show you the vacuum and the the machine. Okay, so this is the model. It's one of the new ones. I took it apart because a customer uh, picked up, um, they washed the filter and then they put it, you know, they put it back and then they turn it on. And so it, uh, it wasn't turning on after all. So she complained that, um, the complaint was that it, the, the machine wasn't turning on so we took it apart and of course this was literally wet so what we did we took it apart um, I kind of took it apart already so it took me a little while so you got there's three well I'm gonna kind of show you what I did here but um, where's the other part So you basically have this cover here. Okay, this one is just like that. I'm gonna show you here. So you have an idea how to take this apart if that happens to you. Okay. So you got, I'll probably make another video, but uh, just for the, lack of time you know um so you got screws in here in order to remove this assembly from the from the cyclone there's screws right there uh, i believe there's one two three there's four screws once you remove those screws and then there's two screws right behind right there you got to remove those two as well so all this comes off okay that comes off and then you have two screws right there holding that uh, circuit board you remove those and then just gently just pry that up and then that should open up like like so if this is wet I would just vacuum it really good let it over dry you know let it dry overnight remove that unscrew those two screws as you can see they're still rusted so you gotta remove those screws, remove this uh, clip right there. Just lift it up nice and gently. Remove this one here. There's a little clip right there that comes off. And then gently, um, you wanna pry this up and then the whole motor should come out. Once you remove the motor, you remove those two screws, remove that little um, cable right there, just lift it up. You should be able to remove the whole circuit board with the motor and then you can just basically vacuum everything leave it outside uh, let it over let it dry overnight and that should take care of the problem so in this case it, it, it worked so after it's dry then you can just put it back together uh, I'm showing you right here that's how it's supposed to be when you put it back okay and then you put this cover. I'm putting it back together right now. I already tested it. It, it works. find the screws here now one two one two three four okay I'm missing one screw here two okay I think I know which one is this okay
Okay, so that's how it looks after all this is put together. And then I think I'm gonna vacuum this while I have it open. Slide this over here, like so. Okay. I'm trying to see if I'm missing a screw here. So we got that. Okay. Uh, I removed a screw right in there, which I don't think is necessary. There's a screw right in there, so I'm gonna put that back together, which is this here. So you don't need to remove that. Okay, so now we've got four screws. One, two, three, four. Okay. And that's a Phillips uh, head. Forgot to remove a screw in there.
thought I had a screw in there. All right, perfect. So make sure that one goes all the way flush when you put it back in there. It was just uh, still not, uh, there's still a gap there. There you go. So it needs to be flush right here. Okay, so you can put the screw, the screws in there. I would probably just put those screws first. <clears throat> and then we're gonna test it so you can see that it actually works. I never seen that before. This is the first time I encounter this problem. Um, I didn't think the motor was gonna work after after the circuit got completely wet. <clears throat> okay, and then we put those other four screws. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and test it now. So we just put it together. Make sure you put a new filter here. Or you can still reuse the same one that you have. Just make sure it's completely dry. Put the new battery and check it out. We're gonna turn it on right now and see how. Look at that. So there you have it. I hope that helps. Uh, help, helps you, you know, if that happens to you again, <laughs> you know, um, or if you vacuum. So whenever you wet, you know, you wash this mixture is completely dry because the, a customer uh, she washed it and then she put it right in there um, after she washed it. So everything got completely wet. So if that happens to you, so. Uh, you can try that and hopefully that should take care of the problem and if you like our video just please subscribe I'll be uh, uploading more videos just to help you guys uh, take care of your uh, vacuums uh, or small appliances thank you for watching